नमस्ते व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू टेक्निकल चैनल गणेश पाइपिंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ टेन मिनिट्स वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू क्लासिफाई अ क्रूड ऑयल क्रूड ऑयल्स वर्ल्ड वाइड हैव बीन एट डिफरेंट प्राइजेस एंड दिस प्राइजिंग इज मेड ऑन सर्टन क्रूड ऑयल क्लासिफिकेशन विच इज एक्सेप्टेड ग्लोबली सो in a, we will have we will take we will be taking a quick review on how this classification takes place so stay connected with us and enjoy this video uh, the first and for foremost important thing there are three basic ways to classify a crude these three ways are first and based on this classification there will be different prices for this different categories of crude so the first and most important one is the classification based on sulfur content of the crude so if the sulfur content of the crude is greater then the price of that crude will be less because uh, and uh, vice versa if the sulfur content of the crude is lesser then the price will be more the selling price of that crude will be more uh, the reason being that the high content sulfur uh, crude is basically uh, it uh, the refining process is costly and so uh, it is not desirable so that is why the cost is less uh, the high content uh, h2s crude which is having a high sulfur content is called sour crude whereas the crude with a lesser sulfur content is called sweet crude so the second way of classifying the crude is based on the location from where the crude is extracted so based on this uh, we we, are, we can see the three important uh, classifications or the benchmarks west texas intermediate this crude is extracted from the north america region uh, the oil fields of those region and uh, normally uh, it is having a density uh, uh, sorry uh, density api gravity 39.6 and the sulfur content of 0.24% the second one is the brent crude or the brent blend this crude belongs to the north sea region of uh, the europe Uh, where we have countries like uh, norway uk so the crude from this region is termed as brent crude uh, it is less superior than the west texas intermediate known as wti west texas intermediate so the brent crude is less superior uh, then we have a dubai crude now this crude belongs to the persian gulf region where we have a majority of the oil industry which is from the west asia dubai uh, uae uh, iraq iran saudi all these uh, region uh, the crude benchmark used is the dubai crude uh, the dubai crude benchmark is inferior as compared to the above to wti and the brent blend uh, in addition to this uh, there are other uh, benchmarks also like uh, the opec basket uh, opec stands for oil producer countries oil producer and exporter countries so there are a group of countries which are uh, the major exporter of uh, crude oil so they have their association opec so they have their benchmark and the third classification of crude is based on the density of the crude so it also affects the pricing and this density is basically a number which is called as api gravity number 
it is nothing but comparison of the density of that particular crude uh, with water uh, the value of this uh, density number uh, is inversely proportional that means if uh, lower the number then higher will be the density and vice versa so if the number is higher then the density will be lower so if you have uh, the lower density of the crude is called as light crude and the higher density crude is called as heavy crude so if you uh, are going to procure these two crudes then the uh, a lighter crude will be costlier because the investment for refining will be low so moving to the next uh, this is a diagrammatic representation of uh, the crude based on the api number api gravity that is the heavy crude and the light crude again this is the sweet versus the sour crude, uh, crude that is based on the sulfur content we are classifying the crude so uh, this is i can say that this is the first point uh, sweet crude versus sour crude and the third point that is based on the density of crude that is api gravity uh, that point stands for this diagram so the crude oil is now classified as heavy crude and light crude based on the api gravity number so now this is the classification based on the sulfur content so the classification says that if the sulfur content of that crude is less than 0.42% then what we get is the sweet crude which is in a very high demand so basically the venezuela crude uh, is a sweet crude which is the best quality of crude which is available in the world today then the sour crude sour crude is the one which is having sulfur content greater than 0.5% so this is a broad uh, classification and based on this classification Uh, different benchmarks have been set worldwide and uh, based on those uh, benchmarks we get a variety of different prices for different crudes from particular uh, regions and uh, some other parameters also like uh, uh, apart from the api gravity uh, classification we have seen there are other benchmarks also like for nigerian crude which is a very high grade crude uh, in terms of uh, sulfur content and in terms of api gravity that is uh, it is a lighter crude so this is all about a small video um, say 5 to 10 minutes a short overview of how we classify the crude oil worldwide so stay connected with us and uh, keep watching this kind of videos uh, our technical session is absolutely free for uh, the viewers uh, so we request you to subscribe to our channel and uh, forward this channel uh, share this channel with a uh, majority of your thank you for watching this video have a great day ahead